So the initial dispatch was about approximately 9.59 p.m. First arriving units arrived on location at 10.05 p.m. Confirmed a working fire with heavy fire coming out of the rear of the building. Uh, second alarm assignment was called. Initial uh, primary searches were done on the uh, lower apartment and the upper apartment. Two victims were located in the lower apartment. Uh, they are deceased. The flames were shooting out of the kitchen and the back side of the house when I drove up before the fire trucks even got here. So. I, you know, it, that's where the fire started, I believe, in the kitchen. But, you know, and when then the fire trucks got here and they did their thing, it took them a few minutes to do their thing, but when they got it, they started shooting that out. But it's, the fire burnt in the back bedroom on the ceiling. That's where it was burning, because they didn't know there was a pocket up in there. I told them, the fire chief asked me to come over there and tell them, and I told them. There was heavy fire in the, in the rear of the structure. Uh, it appears that the fire extended from the first floor into the second floor via a window. And the two and three year olds, were they on the second floor? They were on the first floor. On the first floor. In a rear bedroom. Okay. Were they uh, sleeping at the time, or do we know? I, I don't have were that they information. In the okay. they, were, they were located in, in a downstairs bedroom. Did the tenant that came home and discovered the fire, did he try to go in? Uh, the initial reports, again, we're getting a lot of information, still trying to put it all together, but there, from the information I was given, there were some attempts made to try to get into the structure by some bystanders and some neighbors, and they weren't able to gain access mm -hmm. due, they, due to the heavy fire involvement. Any indication as whether, like, you know, apparently the mother was not home at the time uh, that the fire started? Yeah, we're looking into that, right. She was not here. Is, it, is there any indication that there might be, like, an endangering sort of charge, or is that? Well, when we get to that point, we will certainly be looking at that if that's the case. But, you know, there was a sister who lived here. There was a brother next door. So we were, we're still what looking is at it, were, this, were there any adults in the same apartment with the children at the time the it fire doesn't started? Look like it doesn't look like it. doesn't look like it. We heard it and we went upstairs to look for it and it ended up being on a roof in a corner actually next to a gutter. A very lucky cat for sure.